Now, as we practice each one of our techniques, we tend to do them in isolation. So we use the self-defense demonstration as a way to not only string together the techniques, but to see what it would feel like in real life. Now, understand these are highly choreographed, but if not done precisely, they can still cause damage. But what they, they do do is allow us to do these kinds of techniques at speed in a way that's comfortable for everyone. <laughs> also give us some really good ideas on how these kind of fights might actually happen. <laughs> We're going to be seeing some wonderful techniques. Again, realize that these are techniques that are designed to use the weight of the opponent against them. And putting, again, a great deal of pressure against a small part of the joint. A nice women's self-defense demonstration. And again, for all those of you who haven't taken Musulwan, a lot of this can be applied simply from techniques that we learn in class. And again, we don't just have joint lock techniques, we have a number of throwing and grappling techniques. Oh, oh, she does win. Okay. As you can see, this is an attack by two different opponents. Demonstrating not only many of our joint lock techniques, many of our defense against kicks. lose a great deal of momentum in the jump itself. So it, it takes a great deal of speed to get through these breaks.